Prince. Green baby, talk to me. It's all right. You can admit you just wanted to hear my voice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's great. Hello friends, my name is Shrine and it's time for some Trails of Cold Steel 2. Excited to play more. Thank you. Yes, Monica's here. What about you? Wow, okay. Looking for a civilian, right? Hmm. Yes, he did come around every time we were serving a meal. He seemed kind of pitiable, really. Build a super few times. Build a super few times and always gave this odd, insincere smile when he did. Oh, right. Do you remember when you last saw him around? This morning's breakfast, actually. Haven't seen him since, but who knows when he'll pop up again. Alright, well, thanks for your time. Not much luck here either. Hello! Oh, her again! You're looking for the young man who's in the camp at the moment? Yes, he does come here from time to time. He always seems so sad. I tried to strike up a conversation with him this one time, thinking to cheer him up. And it did too. He went out seeming all cheerful and motivated afterward. Sounds like we're doing for a pretty simple-minded guy here, doesn't it? A little bit, yeah. You wouldn't have to know where he might be now, would you? Oh, I'm afraid not. We don't have much to go on then. No, we don't. Anyone else? Oh, yeah. Okay. Someone over here. I didn't talk to them before. This is all there was in the storehouse. Do you think it'll be enough? Hmm. We should be able to make it to work, I think. We could definitely have done with some more oil, though. But you? Oh. Whew. That was a tough job. Oh, was well, expecting to find to find you here, Elliot. Hi. <laughs> would you mind if we asked you something? After confirming it was okay, they asked Sergeant Major Emma's Emmons if he had seen the civilian. Oh, he's missing, is he? I'd actually see him roughly an hour ago. Finally. Really? Where'd you see him? He was heading in the direction of the fortress. I couldn't tell you more than that, though. Wait, what? What would he be doing there? Indeed, I can't imagine what business a civilian would have in the ruins of a fortress. And the destination is set. Yeah, let's go after him. Thank you for, thank you for the information, sir. That was nothing. Best of luck finding him. So, as I'm recording this, they just announced the two... Zero series, I think? Al no Kiseki? The Crossbell Games. Yeah, that's how to call them the Crossbell Games for Japanese PlayStation 4 remake. So I'm excited for that, really. Really excited for it. And there is a new Tales. Trails game. <laughs> I said Tales, sorry. Trails game coming out eventually as well. A mainline Trails game. And it's gonna have rain in it, so it's pretty much Trails of Call of Steel 5 coming out. It's gonna have two other characters as well as main protagonists, and they're all doing something concurrently, but awesome. I'm really excited for it. Hopefully it comes over to the US soon. Eventually, you know, we gotta get four. We gotta get Crossbell. We got a lot to get through. Got a lot of games to get through with this. We made it. Oh, we never really saw Destruction close before. That's crazy. No matter how many times I see what's left of this fortress, it doesn't get any less shocking. It's not as though we had any real personal attachment to this fortress, but to see this happen to it, it's crazy. Still, this is no time to be feeling overwhelmed by the scenery. We need to focus on finding that missing civilian. How about we start combing it by combing the area? There's a whole lot of ground to cover, but we're just going to have to get on with it. Hmm? I feel like... I felt like I sent something strange. Maybe just my imagination. Strange? Ooh, items! <gasps> I see items! Okay, I'm happy. Let's go get them. What did he send? <laughs> oh, what could it be? I'm so excited. All right. Okay, my turn. Crystal flood obtained. Yes. 
There's oh, there's something over there. I probably changed my group. So I had a different. My turn. All right. Right. My turn. He's Elliot. Let's move. All right. Right. It's kind of his quest with his dad. A long way to run. Okay. Depth of Dane. There's one more over here. Then the blue one. Which I'm gonna keep track of those. I like to get. Oh. All the items this time. Oh, Adamante shield obtained. That's actually pretty useful. Run, Elliot, run! Super run! Wrong button. Not like I need to run any faster. Truthfully, there's an something going on. Person? Event? I don't know. Let's see what this box needs. Oh, hey. I'm gonna just stare at this first real quick, cause you know me. A spiritual presence emanating from the chest. <gasps> oh, I don't have Fee. I took Fee out. Fee and Sarah. If you want a little beer, get a pint class. If you want more, tinkered. But if you really want to get smashed, pour in the Valstein. <laughs> That's cute. Valenstein. Did I save? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Go say hi. Hmm? Oh, you those store students. What are you doing here? You could have come out of attack any time. Suggest you hurry back to the base camp where it's safe. Actually, you're looking for someone. They told the soldiers about the missing civilian and asked if they'd seen him. Missing civilian? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. He just came back from patrolling the by road. Didn't see anyone there at the very least. That could mean he's somewhere in the fortress after all. Let's keep up the search. Thank you both for your assistance. Okay. Oh, who are you? Are you our missing civilian? Hi. Don't I recognize you? Is that Anton? Oh, I can't find him anywhere. He even came all this way to this scary looking place to find him. He looks familiar. He does look sad after all. Ricky! Where are you? If you're there, say something. <laughs> Could this be. Yeah, I think this is our guy. Wait, he actually looks kind of familiar. He does. Huh? Who are you? Wait, I know you. You those students owe me at back helped me out a few months back. Come on, don't tell me you've forgotten me. You came to my aid when I was lost all by Arco's fort. I remember now. That was back during our field study, Burhart. Your name's Anton, right? From La Barrel? I think I remembered him, yeah. We saw him in a few other places too. I guess he hasn't been home to La Barrel since. We should probably ask him what he's doing here. He's looking for his friend, obviously. Ricky! So you came here looking for a friend you were separated from just before the war broke out? Yeah, Ricky went to Heimdall on his own. Ew. And right for that, it got occupied by the Alliance. I've been all the place looking for him, even to Heimdall Station, but I can't find him anywhere. I'm so sorry, Ricky. If only I'd gone with you. I see, that is quite worrying. Yeah. I know as well as anyone what it feels like to not know where your loved ones are. Yeah, Elise is still missing. Elise. It's really scary seeing what's going over in Crossbell. The last girl to win my heart is still there too. Oh Fran, please we okay. You may have turned me down, but I'll never forget your beautiful smile. Well, what, uh, um, yeah, regardless, now we know what you're doing here. I still don't think you should be coming to places as dangerous without some type of permission though. This area could become a battleground at a moment's notice. We should get you to the back to base camp. I suppose you're right. I can't stay in that. I can't say I like this place very much anyway. And it's not like I'm gonna find Ricky here, so I don't mind coming with you. We appreciate that. Let's report back to the Lieutenant General. Let's go. What is it? I thought there was a deep. Uh oh. What is that? What the heck is that? 
Good job, my boy. Anton is resting the mess all at the moment. He's been warned not to cause any more trouble, so he should hopefully behave from now on. I see. You've all done a fine job. Agreed. I couldn't be more pleased with the results. And it sounds as though you didn't find him a moment too soon. What do you mean? We received a report of an unidentifiable large monster appearing not long ago. Inside Gorilla Fortress, no less. Unidentifiable? Is it some new species? It must have only just appeared, too, because we didn't see anything like that when we were there. Correct on both accounts, and truth, this isn't the first time this has happened. We've been receiving reports of strange monsters appearing out of nowhere in various locations for several days now. Could they be cryptids? Oh, heck no. If their appearance really is due to the chaos in Erebonia become greater, could this be happening all over the country? That doesn't sound good. We would like to take care of the problem ourselves, but unfortunately, we simply don't have the spare manpower. It pains me to leave them thee, but... We've no choice until the war situation has settled down to some degree. It's just one more reason Erebonia has become an increasingly dangerous land. I suggest you remain vigilant if you intend to continue your travels. We'll be sure to do that, sir. Good. In lighter news, please take this as thanks for helping us today. Panzer goggles. Thank you. Whatever those do. What you've done was only possible because you chose to remain neutral. We'll be counting on you if anything else should come up. We'll be happy to help. Feel free to get in touch if you ever need us. Quest without leap completed. I mean, it feels like we are helping the Imperial Army a bit. Helping us, Dad, but... Mm, some of their families with them, so it doesn't really matter. They're going to help their families. You did a fine job. If anything like that crops up again, you know exactly who to call upon. Still, as you know, this war is becoming more dangerous by the day. I suggest you remain vigilant during your travels. What it, Papa. Big Papa. So, that chest wanted a specific combo. Just party. Can I just on the fly and like that? Oh, no, 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 no. Start. Now give me Elliot. Let's see, so I need Sarah. Take... Laura's so powerful though. But Sarah is too, so... Okay. Keep these two. Confirm. Let's go. Get that item. Fight the cryptid. Ooh, we might have trouble with both. Do I have to fight it right away? Let's go. Let's go get. Oh, well, hi! You look dangerous. You look very dangerous. I'm gonna say before I get this done. I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. I want to run faster. All right. Oh, yes. There we go. Okay, I'm saving right. first. Turn off turbo mode. Go to things. Girls are up. The spiritual presence is emanating from the chest. Combatants, Fee and Sarah. Monster level 76. Open the trial chest, yes. Gotta open all them chests. Let me show you why a lot of you. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to scan a few things with a battle scope, aren't we? Let's get that done. I actually do not like these things. Huge rat. And no dirty rat. I fought you before? I guess so. Well, let's just do the huge rat and be done with it. Huge rat. Yeah, you're huge, all right. I don't quite know if you look a rat. Maybe you have that weird... Where's your face? Where's your mouth? The big old shell over everything. Those creepy, creepy feet. Huge rat, level 76. A rat monster which has grown to ridiculous size. Surprisingly agile, making pouncing on very easy. Oh, great. Goodbye. Oh, I need Sophie Dance. The big rat, anyway. Go, Sarah. Good job. Did 
Still alive. Ah, you missed ya. Good. Leave it to me. No need her dying over there. Okay, happy one after Sarah. Okay. Got it. Didn't take any turn. Okay, we're burning daylight. Vanquish ya. Be leveled up for me. Yes. Success. Overcame the trial. B and Sarah can now use overdrive and link with one another. B and Sarah's bond strengthened. Oh, nice. Between EP are fully restored. Oh, thank you. Too bad not uh, the craft points, but that's fine. And I always like Maki to buy his glasses. Looks good, looks good. But it's time to say hi to these two. Why are they all camping out somewhere? It's dangerous. I guess they know the kind of fugitives right now. From the Noble Alliance. Oh? Uh, Nicholas, can you cook for us? Because cause earlier Millian was saying she was going to cook for us. And we're like, no, no. <laughs> oh, now here's some familiar faces. Whoa, it's class 7. I'm glad we finally found you two. Long time no see, Reen. What are you guys doing here? Well, long and complicated story. Both party exchange information. You guys have certainly been busy. You're behind that ash-colored knight everyone keeps talking about? <laughs> Figures, class 7's always been pulling off crazy stuff like that thingy. <laughs> We're not that bad. You've been setting up those transmission relay devices, right? Yeah, we've been busy using the gather intel. I have to say though, getting by with the bare minimum of ingredients while doing it has been a struggle. So he says, but we've been having fine dining pretty much every day thanks to his amazing cooking skills. I'm practically eating better than when I was cooking myself at Thor's. <laughs> you flatter me. Oh yeah, we actually met Teresa while we were in Bearheart. She was pretty worried about you. So if she's managed to get home safely, then whew, I'll have to pay her a visit soon. If you need help with that, we'll be glad to make help to help it make wait what? If you need help with that, we'd be glad to help make it happen. How about it? Wanna come aboard? As much as I love to give you an instant yes, I can't, I'm sorry. We still got some business to take care of first. What might that entail? Well, you kind of caught us while we were getting ready to set up some relay devices around here. Oh no, it's one of those quests, isn't it? This is the last place on our list, actually, so we shouldn't be long. Would you mind waiting until we're done? Oh, I see. Hmm, helping them out with this might make life easier for all of us. Help out! We might as well help out since we're already here, right? Not to mention things will go much quicker if we divide up the work. Are you sure? <laughs> Thanks, you're honestly a huge help. You go, Reen. This is your batch. Okay, six relay devices obtained. I can deal with six. Huh? You're smaller than expected. Well, yeah. Designed to be attached orbit lights. We have George to thank for these little handy little guys. This handy works as impressive as ever. That'll be plenty hard to find, too. Nice. Heh. <laughs> George is always knocking out of the park. I'll leave you in charge of setting them up on the lights around this area. Try to set them roughly equal distance apart. We'll set our batch up the road that runs parallel to Transcontinental Railroad. Then we'll meet you back here once we're all done. Sound okay? Understood. Let's get to it then. Let's go! So I'm guessing on my map- oh my gosh. Yeah, baby. Uh, how do I get there? Is that a way to get to? I don't think so. I gotta go... I should cut off my trusty bike. Let's ride. It'd make things a little easier. I like this bike. It's amazing right now because I can ride the high road highways with it and it doesn't take too long. Yeah, this way. Right by a monster though. It's kind of annoying. Just a bit, but it's fine. I guess we'll start with this one. We can open the security panel and place the relay device inside it. That should probably be, on, be it, so let's move on to the next one. Okay. I gotta sell my bike again. 
Oh, I can go this way. Okay, cool. I think these connect. Let's ride. I think. I gotta stay up here. I like how we're not putting every single light, because dang, there's a lot around here. Reen open up the security panel and place the relay device inside it. Two down, making good progress. Yeah, with this bike of ours, it's so good. See, we can't go back. We don't want to go to Grayley sides. Go this Let's way. Go the way we came, I guess. Right? Okay, there's this one, third. Reen open the security panel and place the relay device inside it. Halfway done now. Good job. Let's get going. Let's go. You don't need yeah, okay. Nothing that way. All three. Alright, we're good. We gotta go back. I'll let them know we did it. Oh, I got too far. We can open the security panel and place the relay device inside. Four down, two to go. Two to go. Let's get going. I love this bike right now. Plus, the enemies don't chase me like crazy. Going the right way. I will get lost. Rain placed it inside. Now we just need to place the last one. We're doing great. It'll turn me around. At least on the map it did. Let's I was like, wait. Ride. I know it's around. I'll try not to hit stuff, but <laughs> that's okay. Last one. Reen open up the security panel and place the relay device inside it. Right, that's all of them. I'm guessing Nicholas and Emily are done now too. Let's go back and see them. Warp me back. Oh, you didn't. Evil. Let's get going. I could run all the way back there on my beautiful bike. Angelica, I love your bike. Thank you for letting me use that. Hey, welcome back. Guess if you're here, you're all done? We are. Yeah. Did you run into any trouble? Nope, we got all six of them set up fine. Changing Orman lights is a pretty common draw for a bracer. I'll probably do it in my sleep. Now the question is whether we set them up correctly or not. No need to worry about that, actually. Handy running transmission test and everything checked out. We're good to go. Good job, team. Does it mean you're ready to board the Courageous then? Huh, count us in. Yeah! Things will be a chint. Chint? Cinch. Things will be a cinch that you got the blazing maiden on board. I'll be sure to pull my weight so we can get around to picking up Theresa and Ferris too. Huh, <laughs> you can't deny that making food on the courageous has me pretty excited. I'll make sure that everyone on board gets the best meals I can provide. <laughs> thanks for joining us, Emily. Nicholas. Can we find Kenneth next? So Emily and Nicholas were welcomed aboard the courageous. Yes. No, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. She's happy. Nicholas, I'm hungry. Can you make me something to eat? <laughs> sure, I don't mind. I think it'd be more fun if we made something together, though. I guess. Okie dokie, I'll help. <laughs> Cute. Uh-huh. I <laughs> said the cooking club. I'll be taking care of this ship's kitchen from this day forward. I'm sure it's going to be a really fun job, especially with Millie around. Yeah, keep milling away from the kitchen. Special curry. Ooh, he heals 8,000 HP. That's nice. Strength and defense plus 50% for 5 turns. I should buy this. You have to make spicy curry. Like eating my haters of spicy food. I'm buying you. And he has ingredients for when we want to cook on our own. I have not cooked in a while. That's it. 
Nicholas, I was expecting more from you. Well, let's see who we have left. Student info? We have Casper and Vivi. Casper year one, class four. Sign the gram. So we need to go to the gram. Vivi, sign the gram. Okay. Support some quests. Hey there, Reen. Hey, Prince Oliver. Do tell me all about what you've been up to. I also got points for recruiting. I knew I could count on you. Recruited Monica, recruited Emily, recruited Nicholas. Without leave, noise. <laughs> well, I'll be looking forward to your next report. That was cool. Have you heard? Lord Ice Day came back to Lagram. He didn't stay for long, sadly. But being able to see him again in person and hearing him doing well is more than I could ever hope for. Hope that he knows he has nothing to worry about. We'll I'll throw a weight behind protecting Lagram in his absence. Oh, that's nice. The kids. Man, Lord Arstead is so darn cool. I'm gonna be just like him when I grow up. You can take that to the bank. Just watch me. Aww. I think I might have finally seen the Viscount. At least that's what everyone says I saw. He was super cool. <laughs> Kano and Jillian both really look up to him. I can see why. Those kids have got lost. That was a Radiant Blade Master, head of the Arsed School. I can't believe he's been fighting right under the bat. Guys, knows all this time is way too cool. I'm gonna be as big and strong like him someday too. No, forget someday. I wanna be like him right now. Oh, it's gonna take a while, kid. Don't worry, it'll take a long time. Long time. It is you. Oh, I should have brought Machias. Hi, Tree! You're Carl, right? Makis is, um, friend? I know you put in a request for help, but what are you doing all the way out here in the gram? Did something happen? So maybe Makis didn't want to see that them. <laughs> what do you think happened? A bunch of noble soldiers came busting to her Oz district. And that got us real salty, so we gave them some of the old ba-bang, kapow! But then they got mad at us and turned the tables. They wouldn't give up either, but then Petri, Petri, darn it. If I parse that correctly, which was hard to do, it sounds like he really needs our help with something, and I guess Petri's in trouble? That's about all I got too. We should try to get him to calm down a little so he can explain things a bit before it's too late. Ah, yeah. They bring Machias for the help. I mean, they are friends of a sort. Yeah, so the clan. Okay, so you have to go get him. Oh, so he just automatically grabbed him. That's cool. Those darn soldiers getting all big for their boot, thinking they're so tough. They deserve to kapow we gave them. I didn't think they'd be so stubborn, though. Or that Patriot, Patriot would... Darn it. Well, he's still crying. I guess we won't be able to get anything else out of him while he's like this. Allow me to translate. The patrolling soldier's arrogance irritated him and Patriot greatly. In response, they tried setting traps for them using boxes and drum cans. They have to drive them away. Naturally, this did not go according to plan, as any with half a brain would expect. M Machias, the heck are you doing here? I don't need a dork like you to help me out sort this out. I can do it just fine on my own. Of course, I can tell from the tears streaming down your face that you're off to a flying start. Machias, I have no idea how you turned what he just said into what you just said, but I'm impressed. Fortunately for me, I've had to put with these two for them for a long time now. Pick some things up after a while. I'm fairly sure I know how the rest of this story goes, too. When the traps failed to have their intended effect, the soldiers gave chase. As they ran, Cargo and Pytree lost sight of one another, which led to the current quandary. Yeah, that's right. You're running from him, but then Pytree didn't go ahead. You were supposed to meet up here, but she still isn't shown. Pytree! Uh, and we're back. You see, finally figured what happened. I wonder if this means that soldiers ended up capturing her, though. Wouldn't be surprised of how heavily guarded the capital is. I'm starting to worry about her. As save your concern. Those toys defy expectations. Don't take a word they say at face value. What's that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean, Machias? Cargo, we should make a few things clear. You two definitely specified the Grandma's Town to meet up in, correct? That, that's what I said, didn't I? I mean, we were kind of panicking at the time with all the soda chasing us and all. 
But Patrick took out a map and pointed right to the part where the Graham is. She said we were meeting at the tiny little place in the boonies where no soldiers would ever care enough to find us. Maybe you shouldn't talk about the town like that right in front of all its residents. Way to show your appreciation. Well, he isn't wrong, technically. And speaking as a resident, I don't find such an apt description offensive. Still, if they're using a map, how could there be a mistake? They're both Erebonians, so it's not likely they end up in different towns. But that would mean... One more question, Cargo. Were you both on the same side of the map when you were doing this? Or were you on the opposite sides facing one another? Hmm... Yeah, we were facing each other, so what? Have you worked something out, Machias? I think so. When they agreed on the destination, one of them was looking at the map upside down. I doubt she ever mentioned the gram. She probably pointed at the part of the map and said here. They probably didn't realize how much misunderstanding it would cause. Hmm, that does sound plausible. Still, if that's the case, then Patriot's gone to an entirely different town. We should look for a town that fits her description and is on the opposite side of the capital from the gram. Good thing we have the Grages. Okay, we're off to find Pytree. Any objections, Cargo? D did you work something out? What are you wasting time here for, then? If you find her, let me know right away. You better promise. We will, we will. Just stay away from me. You're getting snot everywhere. <laughs> Quest Badass and Dangerous started. You little kid. Okay, so we gotta leave. Should have bought Machias. So I'll bring him when I go find Pytree. I see Maria working here. She decided to start helping us out. I chose was necessary, but she was very insistent, so I ended up giving her the go-ahead. She's really a big help, though. If all the people stop being here as they flee from the combat in the west, more hands on deck come in handy. Okay. Stop. Never mind. Who's here? Who are you? I can only take so much of my parents at any given time, so I thought I'd come up here and read a book or something. Which seemed like a great idea until I realized it's the only book I own and I've read it like 20 times. Maybe I'll go for a walk or something. It did come to the grandest sight to see after all, which when we first came here forever ago. Then here. <gasps> Vivi! Oh, you're back! Hey again, Vivi. No updates on Lynn's whereabouts since you last we last saw you, huh? Not yet, at least. I prayed for her to be okay more times than I can count. Even started watering the plants here for extra idios brownie points. And they're still not doing very well. Um, ugh, I'm useless. I was a guardian club member and as a human being, but I guess it's always been like this. I'm only able to do anything now because I've got Lynn, and now that I don't... Aww? This isn't you? Oh yeah, they're both in the garden club. You're the kind of person who loves causing trouble and putting pranks on everyone. Like Adele, me, Lind, even Reen sometimes. You skip class and even your club meetings, pretend to be Lind to embarrass her and anyone who gets involved. But in the end, you always leave everyone with a smile on their face. Works with the flowers too. They're always... They always look so happy whenever you take care of them. So sitting here alone... Praying for someone to solve your problems for you isn't you. Nobody would be able to stop Vivi, I know, from running out and finding Lynn herself. He's right. And so it happens, we're flying the courageous all over Erebonia now. Can't guarantee you'll find her, but if you come with us, there's a chance you'll hear something about where she might be. So what do you say? Are you willing to lend us a hand? You guys! Of course I will. I don't know what's gone into me lately. If anyone should be out there and hunt her down... But if anyone should go out there and hunt her down, it's gotta be me. Sisters need to look out for each other, right? They do. Bingo. Welcome to the team, Vivi. <laughs> Thanks. You're awfully lucky. It's not every day Erebonia's loveless lady joins a ragtag banning adventures like you. We got Vivi. Vivi is welcome aboard the Courageous. That's awesome. I think Vivi was cool. Hey, it's Freckles. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> nice to see you managed to find all your Class 7 buddies in the end, Rain. Thanks, I'm pretty happy about that, too. How have things been on your end? Still doing alright? So far, so good. 
I like to think I'm making myself useful here in the training hall, doing whatever I can. Not that there's much though. Basically just taking care of weapon maintenance and impor importing more than necessary. Sounds useful to me. Now let me think on behalf of everyone here. There's little more helpful than a properly maintained blade. Speaking of helping out actually, join our team! Rain told Caster that they were looking for fellow Thor students to fight with them aboard the Courageous. Me? On the Courageous? Hmm, well I'd love to help, especially if Monica's already on board, but... Hey, quick question. Could you use the Courageous to fly over to the west? I mean, theoretically sure. We could use it to fly anywhere. That's not part of the area we're responsible for, though. We were told to focus all of our efforts on the east side of Erebonia. Honestly, the west is a little too dangerous for us to visit either way. Yeah, that makes sense. Just figured I might be able to go over and see how my family were doing out over there, that's all. Oh, crap, his family's there. No. Sorry, Casper. I forgot you came from a town near the shore over there. I can hardly blame you for being worried. Yeah, well, whatever. Sorry. I'm staying on the ground for now. I hope I can get the chance to head over there and check them out myself. Alright, that makes sense. I wonder if we can find out for ourselves whether or not they're safe. I haven't read the latest Imperial Chronicle yet. Seems like a long shot, but maybe there's something in there. It's worth a look at least. Imperial Chronicle? What do you mean? I gotta go here to read books. Now this one. Breaking. Noble Alliance dominates in the West. Excellent news has come in from the Western Front, stating that the Noble Alliance is overwhelmingly victorious in the recent battle and has forced the former Imperial Army to retreat significantly. This marks a landmark achievement in the Alliance's ongoing efforts to put a stop to the Rebels. The Army's Press Information Center has issued a statement that half of the former Imperial Army forces in the West have been extinguished and those... Okay. Oh, come on, there's gotta be something here that can tell us how Casper's been family's doing. Right here, this part. Mm, what brings you back here? Casper, hear me out. I know you're worried about things back home. I think chances are good that your family's just fine. Seriously? What makes you think that? Check out the six and seven pages. We didn't get Casper the Empirical Chronicle. The Chronicle? I haven't read one of these in a while. I've been too busy worrying, actually. Okay, so they put you on there. That's cool. Reports suggest that the battle initially began near the coast of Lamara province. As a result of the rebels retreating, its primary took place further inland. While the number of refugees unfortunately kept growing over the course of battle, the height of danger never reached any densely populated areas, and as such, civilian casualties are currently thought to be minor. Society conflict near the Twin Dragons Bridge. You're over there. The lengthy conflict between the Kuzan Provincial Army and the 4th Armored Division seems to be showing no signs of letting up. The 4th Armored Division was known as the strongest division of the former Imperial Army, but due to their continued resistance and refusal to stand down, the Provincial Army has no choice but to label them as a rebel army, in tensions to a new height in the area. Hmm, okay. Read to the end. The 3rd Armored Division is also refusing to end its unlawful occupation of Zendergate to the north and has yet to respond to repeated requests to disarm. Between these two divisions, it's likely that a state of confusion will remain in Eastern Erebonia for some time to come. No way. I like was talking about the coast. And this. That's where you're from, right? We're not exactly able to check the situation firsthand, so we can't say for sure, but says that while the battle started near the coast, most of it took place farther inland. They kept civilian casualties to a minimum. If you assume that this is highly... Yeah, who knows if honest. If we assume this is honest reporting, I'd say it's like unlikely that your home or your family were harmed. Wouldn't you agree? Sounds like that area dodged a bullet. <laughs> oh man, thank goodness. Can't thank you guys enough for bringing this to me. I've been worried sick about everyone's for so long now that this is a massive weight off my shoulders. <laughs> I can see the relief in your face. But at least now I don't quite... Don't feel quite as much as need to go over to the west and check up on everyone. So? You've got me! 
I'll join you guys in Cray just to help out for however I can. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Let's fight for our families together. You bet. Aw, that's sweet. Casper's welcome aboard the Courageous. Quest finder first just completed. Huh? Oh, who's calling? Yes, this is Reen Schwarzer speaking. Oh, good. I was worried I wouldn't be able to get in contact with you. Oh, hey, Toa. That explains it. The signal must be pretty good from the Courageous. Listen, I've got good news. And bad news. First, the good. We've actually worked out the location of one of Class 7's relatives. That is good. Really? Yeah, but that's where the bad news comes in. Anyway, can you come back to the Courageous as soon as you can? Please, it's important. All right, sure. We'll be back as soon as we can. Was that Toa? Yeah, she said she found one of our family members. For real? Well, that's good news. <laughs> what a nice surprise. Well, yes, it's definitely good news, but she also said that was some sort of problem. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Sounds like we should hurry back to the Courageous. So I do have to go to that other quest. Hope I can do it. Let me out. Let me back. You're back. Welcome back, everyone. Well, we came like we're asked to. Something wrong? You're not usual cheerful self. Actually, Elliot, try to panic when you hear this, okay? Uh oh. I don't like the sound of this. Um, you see, we found out where Fiona Craig is. Fiona? Elliot's sister? Oh, she's so sweet. I did know you lost contact with her. Where is she then? We got some information about from Keldrick about that actually. Yesterday, she was moved by train from Heimdall to the Twin Dragons Bridge. Against her will, that is. Uh, oh no, it can't be. She's been taken hostage? It certainly seems that way. I imagine they plan on using her to keep the Four Farmer Division at Grayley under their thumb. No. Surely they know that taking family members hostage is going too far. We understand this was the provincial provincial for what? But we understand this is the Cruzan Provincial Army acting alone. Global Alliance didn't give them the order to do so, they just went ahead and did it. I imagine it was done under similar circumstances to those who Jaegers were sent to Ymir too. Then Wow, he's horrible. This likely an attempt by my father to take over leadership of the Noble Alliance. A hopeless fool. How terrible. But, but taking Fiona hostage isn't going to get Dad to surrender. No matter how much it hurts to do so, he'll always put his duty as soldier over his personal feelings. Which means... Yeah, Fiona's life is in real danger. Oh no. I say we take this man to our own hands. Really? I agree completely. As do I, yes. Our country's at war, but nothing excuses doing something so cowardly. As a son, I have a duty to put an end to my father's foolishness. But you guys... Is it intervening then? Remember, this means you're getting directly involved in a dispute between the Imperial Army and the Alliance. No, we're not. We're also objective to rescue Fiona. We won't attack any more than necessary, or we work directly alongside the Imperial Army. I think we're pretty justified here. Just like when we stopped that Jammer Nord. Won't be the easiest operation to pull off, but that shouldn't stop us from trying. You guys mean it? Of course. Oh, hey, if you guys know what you're doing, then I ain't gonna stop you. Fiona's a friend of mine, too. And the guild has this little thing we like to call the code, and its first article states we're all about prioritizing the safety of civilians above anyone else. Nothing goes too far. That's some um, quite the code. One minute she's urging caution, the next she's egging everyone on. <laughs> I think that settles things. Your decision will be right behind you. And we have to guarantee the legitimacy of your actions as well. Thank you, Highness. I really can't thank you all enough. Don't worry, Fiona. We'll be there as soon as we can. 
We will. Okay. Advance the main story, speak to Toe in the captain's chair in advance, and select commence operation. Doing so will cause all unfinished quests to disappear. It's temporary not possible to pr travel to Gurley's probing ground from the creator's travel menu. Okay, I don't need to go there, right? Now let's Where do you want destination. to go? So, Lagram, other side of Lagram? What? Well, that, that's kind of Ymir. We don't have any places we can go to, so I'm gonna go here. Full speed ahead. Come on, spit it out! Where do you hide cargo? I know you did it! I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Wait, who's cargo? Is that Pytri? <sighs> well, I'm glad we found her, but I can't believe she actually ended up here. Looks like my theory was around the mark. Well, anyway... Hey, Pie Tree, could you please stop causing problems for strangers? Yeah, leave Luke alone. Uh, Machias? What are you doing here, huh? It's not like I actually care, but it's nice to see your stupid face. Nice, I suppose. She's acting a bit odd. Oh well. Glad to see her well, too. But seriously, what are you thinking trying to pick a fight of the army? What all about what happened? No good can come from worrying people so much, you know. What? Luke is talking? Pardon? You've got no idea how worried Ost was when we heard you were wanted by the army. For all we freaking knew, you were dead in a gutter somewhere. And the Uncle Carl ended up getting arrested on top of it all. What do you think we started picking fights in the first place? We were scared. We were pissed off. We were... we were... But whatever. It was better for us to do it than letting some amateurs try their luck. So that's what really happened. I'm not surprised that people in your neighborhood would be worried about you. I'm sure Fiona must be really worried about me, too. And now I'm really worried about Fiona. Sorry, I had no idea that was the case. Sorry for worrying you all so much. You should be saying that to everyone back home, not me. Anyway, Junior Cargo said he was going to meet me here ages ago, but he yet still hasn't shown up. So you're going to help me look for him? Oh, we know where he is. Alright, I almost forgot. So she really did intend for them to meet here. Although, there's no way to tell who was in the wrong now. This whole affair is so ridiculous. I'm not sure it even matters at this point. What? You guys know something? You better not have tied him up somewhere. Because if you do... Why would she say that? <laughs> what say we bring him here before she accuses us of anything else? Or you bring her to him? Well... Why would they go back? They flew the courageous little Graham to pick up cargo and brought him back to Ymir. Reunions! Pie tree! Cargo! Ugh! Eh! Like you've been all this time, I was freaking out like crazy, you darn pig squeak! Where the heck was I? Where the heck were you? Ultra headlock time! Ah! Those two are funny. Just two are these people. <laughs> well, they're, um... Refugees from Heimdall. I'm sorry for the trouble she's caused. I know it's a lot to ask, but would it be possible for them to stay in Ymir until the situation improves there? Well, sure. They're not how I picture people from Heimdall to be, for sure. <laughs> wow, check it out. There's a really warm looking pond over there. Watch it, loser. That's clearly a trap. Ain't no way anyone would put something like that nice smack dab in the middle of town. Oh, wow, you're right. You're so smart, Pie Tree. Um, if you excuse me, I'm going to have a quick word with them so they don't go causing any more trouble. Hopefully. <laughs> well, that was certainly an experience. Glad we got a happy ending from it all. Me too. That was crazy. Proceed to Bunny Watch's reward. Bunny Watch. These two are funny. I'll show them how it works. You put your feet in. You happy? Not <laughs> Millie. I'm so happy. Well, that was kind of cute. 
Well, let's go back to the courageous, I think. See if I have more quests to turn in. Hopefully I can turn that one in. Report. <laughs> have you been keeping well? Do tell me all about what you've been up to. Ooh, we'll see 5,500 mirror for completing the quest. I have 140 AP. Ooh, rank A7. Nice. I'm in the A's? Marvelous. You've ranked up. Marvelous. This is just a little something from me. Increase from to A6. Oh, we'll see the waterfall is a perk. I knew I could count on you. Adios, Reen. Bye, Princey. They should all be done. Report it, report it, report it, report it. I'm happy. Only about Toa. 